I was in a production meeting uh, for uh-huh. Get Up on Monday morning, and this was directly after the Reva Sherman situation happened. And one mm. of the ESPN executives said, Reva should not talk. Sherman's a Hall of Famer. He cannot say that. And in my eyes, I didn't say anything to this person because I have no pool, but I, I, it, it became an, another conversation. Revis, I think, is at that status where he can say anything about anybody, can he? I mean, Revis is one of those guys who's allowed to talk about anybody. Is he or am I wrong with that? I mean, it's, it's just bad to see DBs talk about DBs. Okay. But at the same time, you know, Revis, he, that's exactly what he did. He played man to man. Yeah. So you you can say what you can say whatever you want to say and, and not knocking Sherm like Sherm is good in cover three and he he's great at what he do like Sherm is a I'm gonna sit back I'm gonna sit on one side I'm gonna read routes I'm gonna see what the offense is trying to do to the defense and when the time is right I'm gonna take this calculated risk and I'm gonna go make my play that's how Richard Sherman plays football that's how he calls the interceptions he get deep he picks off deep balls. He reads intermediate routes, route, route combinations, and you can only do that by sitting on one side and just getting a feel for what the offense is trying to do to you. Revis Island has just been Revis Island. <laughs> hey, Revis, you get him, other 10 guys, here go our game plan. This is what we're going to do. Okay. It's two different It's, it's two different kind of corners. So I couldn't ask Richard Sherman to do what Revis did. But I could ask Revis to do what Richard Sherman is doing. It's just Revis is just so used to playing man. Coach, when I come in on Wednesday, you just tell me who I got. Okay. Well, I have a question. Why did Revis get so upset about this? Like, like that's, is he- that's my whole, I don't, I don't. <laughs> that's my whole thing. Answer like, the question. Like, you, why did man, he take? You got the same kind of question. Like, why did he take why? that shot out of nowhere? I, I, it came out of nowhere. I feel like, like maybe there was a conversation at one point where they're talking about Sherman being the greatest corner of all time, and it maybe Revis could have took offense to that because, by all accounts, Revis is one of the best businessmen in the history of the NFL and one of the best corners of all time, if not the best corner of all time, because Revis Island was a real thing. This feels like it came out of nowhere, and I don't know if during the game somebody was like, hey, "Here's Richard Sherman, the greatest corner of all time." Time and Revis was like, wait a damn minute. I don't know if that's what why did it happen, you think? Why was Revis so upset? I don't I don't know. I I just know, you know, when you sitting at home, man, you you got a lot to think about. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, hello there. Utilize the promo code pay the bills and get twenty dollars off your first order from Seeking. Now, back to the magic. And right now, you know, Revis Island, man, he you know, everybody been coming to the island for a long time. It, it's been empty for a while. So he he's just sitting at the crib and just seeing Richard Sherman continue to just do it on a high level. You know, it, 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 Sherman is still playing at a high level. Like, yeah. Sherman ain't never been fast. Regis ain't never been fast. Regis has always been patient. Regis always had, always have had hands. Like, the, the guy, for as far as like a technician, when it comes down to bump and run coverage, and not panicking when the ball is in the air, that's why he's going to the Hall of Fame. Revis Island, that's, that's the guy I'm talking about. Richard Sherm, Sherm plays cover three, and they play zone, zone coverage. But in that zone coverage, P-Mac, if you just have one receiver to that side, you basically playing man. So for, you know, for an extended amount of time, depending on how the offense is lined up and usually – he's going to have two receivers or a receiver or a tight end because usually your quarterback are right-hand dominant. So in Re- and Sherman is sitting on the left side of the defenses, which is the strong side of offense when you want to talk about passing tendencies. Uh, so that's what makes Sherman so special because he's able to figure out and reroute combinations between whether it's one, two, or three receivers to his side. You, you best believe if you throw it his way, he's going to pick the ball off. All right, so there's going to be parts of that that are going to get plucked out and out of context. I just want to let you know from your answer there. People are going to do that. But I think you explained that perfectly. And I think we all feel the same exact way as you do, by the way, people with a brain. I'm hoping Darrell Rivas, you know, maybe somebody will go say hello to him or give him a little bit of love so he doesn't have this feeling because he's a goat in my eyes, and I appreciate right. him. I just don't like the negative relationship that's happening right now with Darrell Rivas.